What's good, Chaotic Nation? It is your boy Chaos here. We are back with some more Fire Emblem Three Houses Golden Deers playthrough. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out our content creators in the description down below. And if you want to join this series live, you can come check us out. Twitch.tv slash Chaos6. There's a link in the description. But make sure you hit that like button while you're down there because it's awesome. We're going to continue into the Ethereal Moon. Oh, we're about to get Ethereal, bro. Camera's a little jank, it's weird. Uh, I do want to talk about some new stuff. You guys see the background's different. Yeah, I know if you guys have been keeping up with the series, um, we changed the background here. Um, I had to do some changes because I had other people living in house now um, and had to not take up the living room with my setup and my bed and all the stuff. So I moved into a smaller office space. It's a little tiny room. Literally my bed's like right next, right behind my desk here is like that um but we're gonna continue into this of course we're gonna start out with the um with exploring but let's start with some certifications before we jump into the exploratory phase hello i i'm very much have you heard yet if you have yet to choose a representative do you mind terribly if i volunteer if she wants oh, to do it you can do thank it thank you professor i am overcome with joy just you wait until my feet touch the ballroom floor I mean, she wants to do it, so I don't mind. And she ha she has the skills to win it too. Yes. Do you need me for anything, Professor? I would be happy for some. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Ah, Professor. Always a pleasure to see you. I bet. I wonder, might you have a moment to chat? Sure. Why? Don't be rude. Come now. You have no need. I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen. Uh, well, that is to say, too valuable a member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Academy. Indeed. The further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the know, lost man. crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I Crap. became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. Dang, kid. You investigated me? Question mark. Nothing so crass as an investigation. Okay, sure. I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the He's academy. Creepy. Of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. It's I'm only excited me, bro. to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story sure. begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. Yeah, I got nothing for that. At the monastery, with whom Gerald was yeah. quite close. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred some time later. While Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? Well, there's always been one for secrets. Oh, I am aware. You two were certainly enigmatic, as far as mercenaries go. For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. You Warriors bet. to be respected and feared. Yeah. You in particular. Kick your butt. In fact, many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. 
I like the name. I like the sound of that. Ashen Demon. Without a hint of emotion on your face. Bruh. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. Dang. It's because I'm so emotional. So, that is what I learned. And I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next yeah, step need in my research some stuff. is to ask your blood for answers. Oh and my hope gosh. that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. That's kind of weird. Okay. I mean, at least he tried to find me. I mean, I'm kind of like a research project in a way, I guess. So that's kind of cool. So that's fun. Oh, we're gonna do support. So why am I not? Oh my gosh, we got a lot to do. All right. Uh, I have one with Lawrence. Has one with Ignatz. I love these two together. They're Ignatz, so good. hello. What are you up to? <laughs> you, oh, calm yourself. What is it that you're drawing? I thought I'd jot down some sketches of everyone while they're training, and then later on I'll try to practice their moves on my own. Mm, nice. Good deal. But I can't really concentrate on sketching if someone's watching me. Just sketches, hmm? Well, even so, they're lovely. There's such life in them. It's as if they're moving on the page before my very eyes. Do you really think so? You know, I always hoped to be an artist. With skills like that, I'm quite certain you could easily make a living of it. Bruh. And your demeanor is different when you draw. Bolder somehow. Yo, Ignatz is just like a roll, uh, yes, and Lawrence is the butter. Perhaps in the just future, butter you will join my retinue as my personal painter. Wait, have we not discussed this arrangement already? I had decided to take you into my service as a knight, had I not? Yes, Becoming you did. a knight was my father's idea. Being an artist is out of the question, I'm afraid. So you've said. Well then, I suppose you shall simply have to become a knight who also paints. A Bruh. knight who also paints? Yeah, I right. have seen you both. your talent and can attest to it. Your gifts are too great to wither away in obscurity. A knight with the rare gift of artistic talent would be most Bro, If I could draw, I would, would be an artist, 100%. <laughs> like, I'd be art streaming. I had never bro, thought of that. Video games. Still, I don't understand why you'd want me as one of your knights. As a fighter, I'm unremarkable. There is more to knighthood than combat. Courtly manners, a dignified bearing, and an aesthetic He's sensibility are also essential. A knight with an eye for art and the talent to create it is sure to improve the image of the nobility. <laughs> Again, you're not Lawrence, wrong. I'd never have guessed you were prone to such eccentric ideas. Thank you. I'm feeling a little more confident after Yo, hearing your kind words. Pog, dude. Oh, what, what a nice no pair. For thanks. It is a noble's duty to provide guidance to those in need. Act like he's in need, bruh. Alright, alright, alright. I like see there I like that friendship. It's really nice. Ignatz and Hilder. Okay, okay. Well, now I gotta start pairing people because of like how it is. Where is it? Oh, hello there, Ignatz. Why? Yes. Hello, Hilda. What's the matter? Oh, it's just that I'm looking for a book. I can't seem to find it anywhere. I think hmm. it might be on one of the high shelves. Could you give me a hand? Oh no, I know where uh, this is going. Um, I'm really sorry, but actually. Hmm? Some people got hurt while training in magic. I'm rushing to grab some medical supplies. Whoa, that sounds serious. Don't let me stop you in that case. Thanks. I'll be right back. Here we go. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, what was the book you were looking for? Is everyone okay? Yes. It turned out to just be some scrapes Good. and bruises. Oh, is that the book? Yes. I went and grabbed a ladder. That made the book much easier to find. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh. Forehead. You could have just asked someone else for their help. Well, you said people were hurt, so I just figured everyone had more important things to do. Oh, uh, not one of these girls, Honestly, bro. I don't love heights. It was a bit scary up there, but here we are. I managed. I see. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help. Why are you apologizing, silly? Surely first aid is more important. I thought you might Not what you're in. That's all. Hello. Oh, but giving Sorry, first aid, that's not an easy job. I figured you'd be worn out. The last thing I want is to push you too hard. Dang. That's thoughtful of you, Hilda. Thanks for watching out for me. Oh, don't I like that relationship, too. Do my cleaning again, and we'll call it even. <laughs> Dang. such a lovely job last time. The floor was practically sparkling. I swear the air even tasted better. All right, all right, Hilda. I'm glad you liked it. 
You're really good at giving compliments, you know that? I suppose that's why you like some more than no, no. Exactly. Just stop. By heaping praise on people, they're more eager to help me in the future. Oh, but that's not what's happening here. I was really truly impressed by your cleaning skills. I was like, totally like, literally impressed with your cleaning skills. Like, I totally wanted you to go like give me some Starbucks. Like, oh my gosh, that's Hilda. Hilda is totally that Starbucks girl. Who else do you have a thing with? Yo, you have something with cereal, I? I? Ignatz? Why are you following me? Oh, I... Can I help you with something? You must be struggling by yourself, Cyril. Oh, this is guy. my job. I do Dang. it myself. But we could do it so much faster working together. You don't have to. I don't mind. Plus, if we finish early, you can go and do whatever you like. You want to know what I want to do? Sure. Tell me. I'd like to do my assigned work without you pestering. Dang! Oh. Okay. Get a casket for this guy. So He's dead. Why are about what I'm doing anyway, Ignatz? It's kind of weird, you know? Wow. It hurts when you put it like that. I've been meaning to ask you about Almira. You always look so busy, but I thought you might talk to me if I helped with your work. There's nothing about Almira worth talking about. But I Thanks. find it all so fascinating. Please, tell me about the people, the buildings, the flowers. Ooh, any scenery you liked looking at. Nope, never took much time to look at anything. Why do I gotta talk about stuff I don't want to talk about just because you're bored, Ignatz? Wow. Even though you endured hardships, there must have been something to savage. enjoy. You don't get sure, it. this is my kid, Look, bro. I'm gonna go. Should have done it already. Okay, sorry to bother you. Let me know. Oh, and I hope we can talk some other time. But there's nothing to talk about. Jeez. Wow. What a weirdo. It's literally me and all my interactions. Like, that's, that's, that's my son. Alright, Marianne and who what now? Cyril? Oh, Sylvain, y'all. I already like this pair together. I don't know why, Hello, I just Marianne. like it. What's up, Jimmy? You changed your color, too. Won't you at least tell me why you're avoiding me? It hurts. It looks it weird. really does. I'm not avoiding you. I'm just not very good at talking to people in and general. She's my daughter. There you go. I told you I'm on your side, and I meant it. I'm guessing you don't much like talking about crests. Call it a hunch. Well, um... I'm the same way, you know. Hoi, friends. Hoi. The value of my life has always been dictated by the damn thing. It's what is this music, though? It's like... By something you can't control. Growing up in House Gautier taught me that the hard way. What do you believe determines a person's value? I like to think it's so a person's nice. smile. Huh? Their smile? A smile. It tells you who someone is. Are they fake or sincere? It also makes you feel stronger when you smile. <laughs> My smile helps me focus and set free all of that power I never asked for. Hmm. I wonder. Try it out, Marianne. Be strong-willed and put everything you've got into your smile. Oh, smile. this guy. That's great. Strong-willed. Wait, why am I not with him? How's like, this? I should be picking the one who moves me. Yeesh, so I should go with something. That's a terrific first try. If a bit terrific stiff, first try? lift the corners of your lips just a bit. Oh, I know. Try saying cheese. Just. Yes! Hey, that was good. It might feel a bit unnatural, but you'll get used to it. She looks like she's like so out of it right now. Like she looks so out of it, man. Are you sure this will make me stronger? Guaranteed. It's a great smile, you know. Let's go to town and show it off. If you lift your eyes from the ground, you'll see that the world has all sorts of amazing things to offer. The more you realize that, the more you'll smile. I'll think about it. That wasn't a no. Pressure you. If you don't want to go, I understand. Dang, it's this guy, he's like a new leaf town. here. He's like an Animal Crossing game right now, bro. To my room. I want to go practice my smile. If I keep practicing, maybe someday I'll be ready to go into town. Does she like him though? She like oh, him yeah? though. That sounds great. I can't Dude. wait to see your best smile. Dang. I like these two a lot. Just this cutscene, man. That I'm sold. I'm sold. Done. They're getting married, bruh. Sold. What's up, Leone? I guess I can't do that one, but you can talk to Claude. A little closer. Hey, Leone. What are you up to? Oh, come on. What'd you do that for? Dang. Look, you ran my quarry off. Oof. You were hunting? Is the dining hall that short on food supplies? No, Dang. but I like to hunt every now and again. Keep my skills sharp. I suppose so. You're from a family of hunters, right? 
Well, there's no shortage of prey to hunt around here. Snow, True. Not many hunters around the monastery, huh? Rivers full of fish, trees bursting with fruit, mushrooms ready to harvest all over. Yeah, it's I'm not sure I would consider that hunting really more gathering, I would say. Guess we can thank the goddess for that. Yeah, I don't know. I'm more inclined to thank the bountiful earth than the goddess for such things. The Dang. goddess may offer spiritual guidance, but she doesn't fill our bellies, that's for sure. Not uh, a very noble-sounding thing, to disregard the goddess and honor the land. Leone, whose grace do you suppose humans live by? The goddess? The nobility? I'd say it's neither. It's the endless mm -hmm. bounty of this magnificent land that gives us life. Won't hear me I? deny it. But who's to say Tree it hugger. isn't the goddess whose protection <laughs> makes nature thrive? He's fine. I'm not the most devout person, but I'm not about to go around saying we don't need the goddess at all. I Dang. said she gives spiritual support, didn't I? I wouldn't go so far as to say she's wholly unnecessary. But in Elmira, she, get it because she's wholly Virginia, unnecessary. Get it because holy. Yeah. They don't believe in the goddess. I'll stop. <laughs> nature is a blessing that knows nothing of borders. The goddess is the goddess, and the earth is the earth. They should both be revered for what they are. Hmm. I like that sound. Look, this is just my personal opinion. If you truly believe that everything depends on the goddess of Seros, that's your. Hey, it's fine. You don't have to worry about me. I'm a believer, but I know there are those who aren't. I believe, I believe. But I kind of like your way of thinking. <laughs> do it. Giving thanks to nature and all. Uh, it makes sense. I knew a wild girl like you would be able to get behind an idea like that. What? Like I'm feral or something? Potentially. Hey, you know, this kind of talk could be viewed as heresy if it was public. I mean, yeah, probably. True. We'll just have to keep it to ourselves. Yeah, they got a secret, bro. Secret. That's fun. Uh, what she got with Sylvain too. Oh man, this is funny too. Like Sylvain, hey. just good. Hey, Leone. I mean, hello, beautiful. What brings a sweet girl like you to a place like this? Uh, I just came to the greenhouse to look at flowers. Oh, that's What's funny. It? Nothing much. Nothing much. I was just thinking about how sunflowers don't deserve to be stuffed away in a greenhouse. They bloom better out in the open, just like you. Wow, he just flipped the, the switch. I just flipped the switch. You want to say? Oh wait, I get it. I'm not ladylike enough to fit in with all the pretty flowers. Dang! No, she reading between okay, the lines, bro. Backfired. Let me try a different angle. This is a joke, right? Try Tell 31 degrees. Joke. What have you got against sunflowers anyway? I think they're lovely myself. If you think I only care about I heard it's a a cute angle. <laughs> got it. <laughs> sunflowers blooming proud and tall in the open air have a beauty all their own. Is that right? You better be oh, hmm? I skipped it, sorry. Oh, look. Can you just go back to normal? At this point, I feel like anything I say is just going to make you more angry. Why are you suddenly not capable of carrying on a normal conversation? Because he's so vain, that's why. I've been open to the charms of the beautiful flower blooming right beside me. It's a whole new day for my heart. You can oh, quit wow. messing with me at any time. I'm not. I'm absolutely serious. You really are as charming as any flower. I see that now. Wow. Would you stop? Even sincerity doesn't work? What kind of flirting is going to satisfy you? You know what? None. I'm just going to leave you alone for now, so I can get a fresh start some other time. Right. Bye. I mean, she approached you, bro. Charming? Just saying. Me, of all people. Like I'd actually believe that. You're smiling. Stupid. You're smiling. You're blush. She blushing. She she got she got some crushes though. If you were a soda, you'd be crush, bro. Yo, flame. What's up? As expected, I am not finding anything at all. Flame. Are you looking for something in particular? Oh, I was just hoping for general reading that might illustrate the lives of city dwellers. Right. English, well, please. there should be regional records somewhere around here. Oh, that works. I haven't need of official records or anything of the like. Just some light reading on the subject. Light reading? What do you mean by that? Oh, you know, books that cover... You know, like a 20,000 page essay about the dissertation of the life and history of the noble ancestry and here in this area. You know, that. Simple even stuff. Even light reading. Stories about romance. Ah, uh, I see what you're getting at. Try asking a traveling merchant. I hear they keep stock of uh, books like that. As for here, I don't think you're going to find much aside from a bunch of stuffy records. We do get new books donated on a fairly regular basis, but then set a 
Well, you know. My brother? I am afraid I do not follow. Apparently, he directly approves every book before it's allowed to grace these shelves. You know, to make sure nothing inappropriate gets through. I see. I did not realize he had a hand in such things. Well, I suppose it really is no use searching. She knows. She knows. Why were bro. you looking for those sorts of books anyway? Well, truth be told, I am not particularly well versed in the ways of ordinary people. Sedith never taught me of such things, and he strictly forbade me from spending much time out and about on my own. Wow. Yeah, I had a feeling that might be Brother, the case. more sounds like Sounds like Sedith. I, I understand something. and appreciate that he acted from like a place a of concern, bro. of course. Without a doubt. Yeah, it's dictated. obvious that you're his whole world, for better or worse. By the way, I've been wondering, are you two from a noble family? Hmm? You've clearly had a rather high-class upbringing, and both of you have crests. That can only mean you come from a prominent bloodline, right? Of Maybe. course not. No, no, you, you are mistaken. So Dang. your refined way of speaking isn't because of your upbringing? I was not aware that my speech differed so greatly from my companions. Do I really sound so... Formal to yes, you? yes, you do. Well, look, don't worry too much about it. I'm probably just overthinking things. Probably. Just shut up, Claude. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, Cyril with Claude and Ilda. Hey there, Cyril. You're working hard as usual. Nah, just doing my job. Rhea herself gives you your daily tasks to do. Yes, yeah, she does. Nah, just doing my job. Rhea herself gives you your daily tasks, doesn't she? The church employs a lot of people, but not too many of them can claim they get to speak with the archbishop every day. I mean, yeah. You should be proud of yourself. She clearly values your work ethic. Hey, um, is that everything you wanted to say? Cause I'm kind of busy here. Dang. Actually, just pushing I was hoping away. to ask you about Rhea. There's so much we don't know about her, but I thought maybe you. Yeah, I know more about Lady Rhea than anybody. Dang. But why should I tell you anything about her? So cold. Think about who you're talking to. Wow, playing the royalty what card. What are you huh? to me? You don't know who I am. You what don't know I who I am. Why? House leader of the Golden Deer. That's not what I mean. Well, never mind then. Tell me, don't you ever miss your homeland? Almira? Yes, Almira. Uh, judging by that expression, I'm guessing you're not terribly homesick. Life was a whole lot harder for me there than it's ever been around here. My dad and mom both died in the war. Ouch. And there was nobody was there guy, to look after this me. This guy's Batman. The king, he didn't do anything to help. So I had to survive by being smart. I had to stop being a kid real quick. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. Regardless this of who's fault, totally my kid. I'm still like, sorry. I swear, when did I'm I die? I'm sorry that I didn't even know that an acquaintance of mine was suffering. And... Sorry for asking a tactless question about your homeland. I should have known that it was likely to bring back bad memories. Nah, I get sad or mad when I think about it, but I'm used to it, so I don't mind any. I see that. Even still, I apologize for being careless. Okay, well, thanks, Claude. He's starting to warm if up. the king of Almira was like you, maybe things would have been. Yo, better. what a compliment. Maybe the king's not a bad person and just had other stuff to worry about. But that's not much of an excuse. That is true. <laughs> If I ever meet the king of Almira, I'll give him a stern talking to on your behalf. Yo, my yeah, boy. Yeah, okay. So that anyway, was my I boy, dude. To work. Bunch of things to get done. Yeah, they actually put bunch of You really are on the oh. other side now, aren't you? Huh. Well, if nothing else, today. it's good of you to turn a blind eye to me. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, sleep Okay, yet. bye, Claude. <laughs> bye. There's two friends now, yo. All right, Cyril again with... Oh. Cool mm. Hilder, somebody come oh, get her. Oh, again, I see. Again. Hilda, oh, you're in the way. Move it. I'm supposed Dang. to refill the horses' water troughs, but I can't find the buckets. I was told that they'd be in the usual place. What's the usual place? Maybe you'd know where that is if you did your job sometime. You know, Cyril, I don't want to interrupt you while you're cleaning. Come on, the buckets are over near the wall, where they always are. Because I put them there. Okay. Nice. Thanks for your help. You're pretty strong. Oh, he's a kid. Stop tired. flirting with him. Come on, let's rest a bit. Okay, just for a minute though. I got more work to do. Rest. Calm yourself, man. Anything interesting happened lately? Oh. 
interesting. I need an interesting topic Sorry. for this letter I'm writing to my brother. I'm Real motives. Here we go. You're constantly. Yeah. Sorry, I can't. I skip them through dialogue. He's if you want to read it, pause it. <laughs> worried he is my bad. What's worse, if I take too long to reply, he gets more worried and writes more about it. Write about your life, maybe. You know, stuff like I got real lazy again today. <laughs> Or maybe, can you believe I still don't know where they put the water buckets? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn! Do you really think that nah, he's being truthful, bro. You're a lazy gal who gets people to do her work for her. I never knew anybody like that in Elmira. Oh, really? So, Lady Rhea isn't the only difference between Fodlin and Almira after all? I don't like comparing Lady Rhea with you, but I figure you're right. You know what's real weird? Nobody seems to mind picking up your slack. Even me. Because she's a beautiful woman. Sorry, what was that? There's nothing <laughs> worth repeating. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. Yeah, I like those two together He's too. He's such a diligent boy. I don't think I've ever seen someone from Fodlin work that hard. Oh, Definitely not you. I never got an idea from him about what to write in my letter. I mean, he <gasps> gave you several ideas. I guess there's nothing for it. Maybe I can just write about Cyril. How much you love you? Nah, I'm just kidding. She, she's totally not into anybody ever in the romantic scale. Yo, Claude and Roth. Interesting. Okay. Time to rest. Hey, Raphael. Th this scene, why is it oddly familiar? <laughs> it's almost like this stuff is drawn to me whenever I'm in town. I'm just happy I can use my muscles to help out around here. But isn't your goal to become a knight? Running errands isn't exactly a knight's job. I've heard that proper knights always help those in need. Isn't that right? Well, you're not wrong, but I think most people would consider that only a small part of a knight's duty. A knight's main function is to fight and defend, don't you think? That said, I'll agree that helping anyone and everyone who needs it makes you a remarkably virtuous person, which is even better. If someone virtuous becomes a knight, they'll be a virtuous knight, right? That's about as proper as you can get. I... yes, I suppose so. I, for one, would certainly look for virtue in any knight that I recruited. So you're saying I'm the type of knight you want to hire for House Regan? Absolutely. If I somehow actually manage to become the head of my house, that is. I can't see into the future, but you have my word that I'll do all I can to help make your dream a reality. That is, if you're actually able to let somebody help you out rather than helping out the whole world by yourself. I'm not going to stop helping others, but you can do me all the favors you want. All this talk of being proper is making me hungry. For my first favor, why don't you bring me a snack? Alright, and Hilda, let's do it. Uh, I'm be honest, I didn't read any of that, so I don't know what's going on. It's me, Mama. Raphael. Sorry. Oh, Raphael! I'll get the door. What are you up to? Oh, whoa! What an enormous crate! Yo! Oh, look what's stop. in it? Nope. Mm -mm. Crystal vials, shiny rocks. And I got this too. Oh, what a splendid flower. And so fresh. Okay, flower. Hey, flower. Okay, Is flower. That for your sister? Yeah, I finally got my hands on something cute. Just like you suggested. That's so nice. But wait a second. Is this that flower from Fodlin's throat? Of course. I had to run to make it back in time. It was a lot farther than I thought. You ran all that way? And while we're on the topic, aren't these all Myron crystals? Such fine carvings on them. They must be the work of a oh. true artisan. It couldn't have been easy getting your hands on these. I figured I should follow your Just advice. Not gonna... You know more nope. about what's stylish than I ever could. Well done. I'm sure your sister will be pleased. Perfectly all fine. That's left not, is not to make that anything necklace. inappropriate. That's... Yeah. About... Get your head out of the gutter. Okay. I don't know how to put it together. I spent so long trying to figure it out that the flowers have started wilting. There are only a few nice ones left. Huh. That's not good. I could try telling you how to make it, 
But you can't afford to lose any more flowers. Oh, all right. Looks like it's Hilda to the rescue. Is she actually going to do something for once? That's crazy. Seriously? Is somebody film this. You're really going to help me? Sure. I make myself things from time to time. And this is definitely easier than teaching you how. But you owe me for this. I expect to be paid back. Don't you worry about that. I'll find something really nice to pay you back with. Uh oh, well, here we go. It couldn't have been easy finding all these trinkets. He must really love his sister. Still, older brothers can be so dense. You're so manipulative, and I do not like it at all. Little lady. Alright, we've done them all. That's cool. Just to be sure. Done them all, sweet. Alright, let's figure out where we need to go. I feel like Angelica T is yours. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not oh, looking at here. Fun. It is to ride one horse open sleigh. Sorry. Huh? Um. <laughs> boom. I'm gonna get Manuela perfect, bro. Yeah. Um. No. Oh. I suck. <laughs> exactly why I don't go on dates, friends. This is exactly why, because I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh. Thanks for the treat. Come by the infirmary anytime you need anything. I'll be. Oh boy. We'll take it. All right. Finished exploring for the day. Pog, let's teach. Let us teach you, teach, teach. Instruct manu manually, Kappa. We'll find out in the next episode what that's going to be. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button if you did. Hit that subscribe button and check out the rest of the content here on Invisible Corporations as well as our content creators in the description.